To prepare for those looming forced budget cuts, federal immigration authorities say they've released what they're describing as several hundred detainees who are in the process of being removed from the country. One of those detainees, 19-year-old Mexican immigrant Miguel Hernandez, told CNN he was just sent on his way without any directions and without any monitoring. So they let you free and you still don't know what to do now? Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm just, just wait and just wait for the mail to see what it is. The release is just the latest sign of the unintended consequences to come from the forced spending cuts that start kicking in as late as 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time Friday night. Lawmakers up on Capitol Hill feel blindsided. It's a very deliberate effort on the part of uh, many departments to try to pick high profile uh, ways to suggest that somehow instead of making the tough decisions about cutting spending uh, that they should uh, force tax increases again on the American people. When asked whether the administration was notified ahead of time about the release, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney began reading from a prepared statement. Are you confident that not one of these detainees is a threat to his or her community? This was a decision made by career officials at ICE without any input from the White House. But Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano did drop a major hint of the release when she stopped by the White House on Monday. But there's only so much I can do. Uh, you know, I'm supposed to have 34,000 detention beds for immigration. I, how do I pay for those? Immigration authorities stress the detainees are what they consider low risk and non-criminal, and that many, though not all of them, are being monitored. It's possible that some of them might not be brought back in. Well, again, I would refer you to ICE. I don't think this is a conversation that I can help you with. An official with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, known as ICE, who asked not to be named, said some of the detainees will be on intensive supervision, such as ankle GPS monitors, while others will be on less intensive supervision, such as weekly check-ins at an ICE office. As for Miguel Hernandez, he says he doesn't have any felonies on his record and that he's been in the U.S. since he was seven, so he hopes to stay. For him, what Washington calls sequestration may be his salvation. I would, I would like to, like, make a life here.